The glass buildings left behind by ancient aliens, extraterrestrials, Atlanteans from Sirius. These are allegations by some. Now we know that Sirius is not far from Orion and Orion's belt. Scotland is home to many mysterious stories of ancient beings, once said to have inhabited the stunningly beautiful highlands from fairies to ancient sea monsters. But beyond these well-known stories, there is a Scottish mystery that with the abundance of evidence around it leads directly to the conclusion that it is an unspecified ancient technology. About 200 years ago, archaeologists exploring the rural countryside were confronted with ancient ruins that were found to have remarkable features. About 60 mysterious structures lay in Scottish highlands. They were made of rock without mortar, but the rocks in the outer layers of these structures are, uh, after their completion, went through an unknown glazing process. The builders of these exceptional forts, we could say is simply, uh, in descriptive words, had the way, the ability and the machinery, the technology to heat the stones to such an extent that their outer layer was actually turned into glass. This is just one example of what that looks like. And you can imagine all these hills and tells in Scotland or Britain or Ireland, what they could be hiding underneath. Kindly support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. So this ancient fort, this building, this construction shows that the ancients of Scotland had some kind of technology that turned the glaze over the outside rocks into glass. Very strange indeed. We don't have that today from what I know. Although initially in their early years of study, these forts were thought to exist exclusively in Scotland. Researchers have shown that they are found in other parts of the world and more specifically in Western Europe. According to scientific data described by Wikipedia, there is no lime or cement in any of the structures which show the peculiarity of being more or less established by the fusion of the rocks from which they are built. This fusion, which has been caused by the application of intense heat, is not as complete in the various forts or even the walls of the same fortresses in some cases, the stones have melted and only partly burned. In other angles, the connecting edges are fused as if they are firmly cemented together. In many cases, pieces of rock are surrounded by a glassy enamel, a, co a coating that connects them into a single hole. In some cases, although rare, the entire length of the wall presents a solid mass of glassy substance. And it's not clear why and how the walls were vitrified. So the above examples given after the examination could be considered as a desperate attempt to continue to deny the existence of an extremely understandable and highly capable intercontinental ancient civilization which once flourished here on our planet. What could this culture be? There are several elements that give us the right to think that there was a world ancient civilization, the ancient Greeks, Okay, the ancient Chinese, India, even in uh, South America, even in, okay, uh, we have various mounds that we have not really researched in the North America. But there are also many that indirectly, but clearly indicate that ancient Greeks or pre-Greeks arrived in the country now called Britain, and of course Scotland. And we know that uh, from the past videos that we made, Scots were basically ancient Greeks from the area of Sparta. Argos. So um, they arrived in the country now called Britain, built shrines, temples, and monuments. And let's remember the Druids was the ancient Greek uh, religion, Dries, meaning oaks, oak tree. Uh, in Scotland, there is the Cotcho No Stone stone map on display, which has brought great controversy to academics. 
and non-academics alike. It's supported by a portion of the people that it presents a secular map brought by the Greeks from Sirius, the star Sirius. If there is even a possibility that this is the case, could it be argued that the now the know-how, the technology of rock of vitrified glass, turning rock into glass in Scottish forests, forts and elsewhere, has run out since that time. Has been uh, well, it was once there, but lost in technology. So the age of the Atlanteans, extraterrestrials, as some call it, this was their technology. Now who can answer? as to who built these forts and vitrified the exterior, exterior uh, glazing of the stones. What ancient but clearly advanced heat technology did the builders use to turn the exterior stones of the buildings into glass? It's argued that this may have been the result of an unknown ancient nuclear war or that they were achieved by some kind of similar technology. At the rate at which these revelations are coming in from all over the world, from all over the world is probably only a matter of time before we know the answer. Please leave your comments on this and thank you for your support. And I've translated this for you from a Greek article. Thank you for your support.